Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous video we worked on spawning random enemies uh, from the top of the screen going all the way down. And in this video we're going to be working on fighting at these enemies and creating an explosion as well as increasing our score as we shoot an enemy. We're also going to be working on decreasing our lives as the enemies go past our rocket and thus infiltrating our solar system or anything you want it to be. So with that being said, let's get started. Before we continue guys, please consider subscribing just to grow our channel. We have set a target to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of January 2021. So let's get started with this video. So guys, before we move on, I just want to take care of one thing quickly. So as you can see here, when our enemy spawns from the top, and it goes be on the uh, spaceship if i look in my scene view you can see that these enemies continue going and what happens if we have 100 enemies going without shooting them or even 200 enemies without uh, without shooting them that's going to take a strain on our device as well as use up memory that we don't want used up so what we're going to do is we're going to create a empty game object here or a collider that when this enemy hits this collider, it's going to destroy the enemy. Uh, we could use do the same thing as we did with the bullet and just destroy it with time. But I think let me just show you another way to do it. So let's do that quickly. So what we're going to do first is create a empty game object. We're going to rename this destroy enemy collider. We're going to bring it all the way down just underneath here. So let's do that. Let's shift and F to see where it is. Then let's drag it all the way down. Zoom in there, bring it more up a bit. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to add a component and we're going to say Collider 2D or Box Collider 2D. We're going to tick its trigger and we're going to say Edit Collider. And we just want to make this the si same size as our screen. So we can just move that out, move that out, and we can just bring it a bit up. So we want it to just about here and maybe let's just increase the size of it centralize it and I think we're good to go there let's save our work so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a script and we're going to name this script destroy enemy we're going to double click to open it up in Visual Studio and there you see it so we're going to just delete everything here for now and all we're going to do is we're going to create a on trigger enter event when our enemy collides with this uh, collider we want something to happen so we're going to say we're going to create a private function and that function is called on trigger enter 2d we're going to change our collision name to just call and in here we're going to say if call dot tag is equal to enemy because we're going to rename or we're going to add tags to our enemies in a bit we're going to say enemy then what do i want to happen i want to destroy the game object okay and that should be it all we need to do now is go back into unity we can go into our prefabs go into our enemies and we can just add a tag here we can say add tag the list is empty we we'll click the plus sign we're going to rename this to enemy it needs the same spelling and the same way that you typed it in your code i'm going to say enter i'm going to go back into it and then i'm going to say enemy i'm going to do the same for enemy three i'm going to do the same for enemy four and i'm going to save my work and i'm going to press play and see what happens so we'll go to our scene view as you see our enemies randomly falling from the sky or from the top of our screen as it hits our collider you see them disappear and that's freeing up memory that we don't really want to be used okay so that's done and dusted so the next thing we're going to work on is when we fire a bullet to the enemy we want an explosion to happen and we want to increase the score so let's do that okay cool so the first thing we're going to do is go into our prefabs we're going to go into the bullet and we're going to add a tag to our bullet we're going to say add tag we're going to go click, click the plus icon and we're going to name this bullet. We're going to go back into the bullet prefab and we're going to tag this as the bullet. Then we're going to go in our bullet controller and we're going to set up a on trigger event. So we're going to say private void just like how we did with the destroying the enemy. We're going to say private void on trigger enter 2D. We're going to change this collision to call and we're going to say if the collider dot tag is equal to 
enemy and then I want to destroy this object that is the bullet over and above that I want to play an explosion so I'm going to just type my function in here and we're going to define this function at the bottom so we're going to say private void play explosion and we're going to instantiate this explosion the first thing we're going to need is a empty game object so we're going to say public game object and we're going to call this explosion then we're going to instantiate this explosion so we'll say game object we'll call it explosion is equal to instantiate and we're going to instantiate this explosion we're actually going to call this e and then we're going to instantiate this explosion which is this game object on top here and we're going to say instantiate it as a game object we want this explosion to happen in the same place as the bullet so we're going to say e.transform.position is equal to the transform Dot position which is the position of the bullet and then we're going to destroy this explosion after two seconds so we're going to say e and we're just going to pass it in two seconds and everything should be fine the next thing we need to do is go back to our unity we need to go into our enemy controller and we also need to set up a on trigger event here so we can say private void because we also want to uh, destroy the enemy when the explosion happens so we'll say private void on trigger enter 2d once again we'll change this to call and we're going to say if the collider dot tag is equal to bullet then we're going to destroy this game object and that should be it let's head over back to unity let's go to our prefabs our bullet prefab we need to drag in our explosion game object here so in our github repository you're going to drag in the folder called tune explosion v1.0 so drag that in you're going to open this folder up you're going to go to prefabs and that's our explosion so we actually need to create a new prefab out of this because we want to see what size we want the explosion to actually be so let's drag and drop this explosion in the scene as you can see it's way too big so let's scale this down so i want the explosion to be something i think that size looks good so what we'll do is go all the way back into our prefabs we'll drag and dr drag this explosion in there we'll create a original prefab and we'll delete this one from the scene then we'll head over to the bullet and you see it needs a explosion game object we'll drag this explosion one game object save our work let's press play and see what happens so we fire at our enemy and there you see it we play a nice explosion okay so we know that works fine and we know it's also destroying the explosion animation after two seconds so what we can do now is as i fire at an, at an enemy and i and there's an explosion played or i destroy an enemy i want my score to increase so let's do that quickly so what i'm going to do is create a empty game object and i'm going to call this the score manager i'm going to create a script and i'm going to also call this the score manager i'm going to open this up in visual studio i'm going to remove the start function for now i'm going to include uh, my using text mesh pro library okay so the first thing i need is a, a public text mesh pro ugui holder uh, for my score so let's do that so i'll say public text mesh pro ugui and i'll call this score text holder then i need a private int to s store my score value so i'll set that to zero then in my update method all I'm going to say is score text holder dot text is equal to score dot to string so that's all I'm going to do here the next thing I'm going to do is head over to my bullet controller and in my on trigger event where when I do hit an enemy all I'm going to do is add 10 points to my score so in order for me to access that I'm going to say score manager dot and I can't access my score variable because I need to do something to that line of code so I'll head over back to score manager and I'm just going to add in the line called static so I need to change that to static and I need to change this to public so that it can be accessible from another script so I'll just back into my bullet controller and now if I try typing score there you see I can access it so I'm just going to add 10 points to my score and I'm going to close that off so that should work fine let's over, head over back to unity I'm just going to drag and drop my score text holder in there I'm going to save my work and let's give that a shot so you can see it starts off at zero which is what we want when I destroy an enemy there you see it adds 10 points to my score 
And that's exactly what we want.